Hidden inside all these ones and zeros is a secret message that ultimately is about magnetism. Well, actually, those of you that know me, the message is not that big of a secret. I love science. But before we start to talk about the actual secret, we're going to need to go back to those ones and zeros. You see, the ones and zeros are part of what's known as the binary number system, in which other things can be represented with simply just a zero or a one or a set of zeros and ones. So if we're looking for the number six, for example, in binary, it's one, one, zero. There's a pattern to this that we could get into um, at a different time, but what you need to know is that a combination of ones and zeros can be decoded into other numbers and ultimately other letters. What you see here is a kind of a step farther on that main idea. You can have a giant table that can show us all the symbols and characters that we use on a computer to type messages every day, and they're all associated with a number. So, for example, uh, the percentage symbol is associated with 37, and 37 could be translated back to a series of ones and zeros. So let's focus on my, my uh, I love science message. If we look at the exclamation point in I love science, that actually is 100001. It can be translated to tell us that that equals the exclamation point. So in this giant message of ones and zeros, what if we didn't have any ones and zeros? What if instead we had magnets and we were reading the tops of magnets? And the tops were combinations of north poles and south poles. Then if we had some sort of detector like the one here in pink, which would measure if it's a north pole at the top or a south pole at the top, we could decode a message of ones and zeros. We see this strategy used in the old videotapes or cassette tapes. Uh, on that tape is pieces of metal that have been magnetized and they've been magnetized in a certain way. And that tape goes across the head and the head reads, is it a north facing me or a south facing me? And ultimately a message is hidden in there. Of course, uh, it's been a while since I've used a, a videotape or a cassette tape, but it hasn't been too long since I've used a, a hotel card. And on the back of a hotel card or a credit card, that swiping on there is actually uh, little strips of uh, little codes hidden with metals. And those, those metals are magnetized in different directions, and we read the north and south to get a secret message. Now, that in this case, the secret message is open the door, on the credit card, it might be an account number and your, your address and things like that. Um, and of course, on a hard drive. This is the insides of a hard drive where we store data for all of our computers. Turns out on there, this little piece right here is the head and it's reading across the platter. And on the platter are, um, is data stored and it's ultimately stored magnetically with North Poles and South Poles. And depending on which direction they're facing is how we basically encode a message, which turns out to be possibly this video file. So there you go. All the way from magnetism to ones and zeros to videos and the rest of the internet. 